Ah, uh, field trips. Probably some of the best memories I have from school. Those were hands down some of the best days. Because field trips would also be the reason why kids would behave. No, really, because was it just me or would teachers threaten kids with these trips based on their behavior? Jorge, be quiet or I'm sending you to the principal's office. Yeah, whatever. I'm friends with all the staff. Okay, fine. Be quiet or you can't go on a roller skating trip. No, wait, please. Not the roller skating trip. I'll make sure to be quiet for the rest of the week. In elementary school, there was always at least one kid absent every day day. Our class never had perfect attendance. Except for field trips. Oh wow, 28 out of 28 kids are here. I wonder why. The field trip we had that day was apple picking. And the bus ride there was just as fun as the actual trip. I would always sit in the middle of the bus and talk with my friends. However, can we all agree that the back of the bus would always be the loudest? Oh, they would be singing songs, making jokes, yelling from one side of the bus to the other. And our one friend Andrew was heckling other drivers on the road too. You know, he would stick his tongue out and yell at them. And the teacher would get so mad yelling at us to be quiet. All of us, even the quiet ones. Jeez, miss, I didn't even do anything. Once we got to the place, we were picking apples, we were walking around, and they even gave us hot apple cider. You know, it was the perfect fall vibe. However, those kids chanting and yelling on the bus, they were just as chaotic. Oh, they would be so loud and run around the field. Some kids were even grabbing apples that were on the ground and throwing them at each other. Hey, stop, guys. See, what did I say? Yeah, it'd be hard controlling 20-something kids running around in a non-school environment. Which is why we introduced you to chaperones. Some parents would volunteer and keep an eye out on the kids. And I remember my dad actually volunteered to be a chaperone for this trip in particular. He was helping me pick apples and actually bonded with some of my friends. Dude, your dad is the coolest! Oh, I felt like a cool kid that day. And if you think dealing with 28 kids on a field trip was bad enough, too, well imagine a field trip with 150 kids. Cause ladies and gentlemen, that was my middle school. Ooh, the sun is out, look at that. Anyways, every year in middle school, we would plan a roller skating field trip. And I was part of the planning team, believe it or not. We would charge $15 and 10 green bucks. And you're probably wondering, Jorge, what are green bucks? Well, that was our school money. So for example, if you behaved in class, they'd got on a test or were caught doing a good deed, then the teacher would reward you with one green buck. And we would have to collect 10 for this field trip in particular. For us good kids, it was easy. Dang, what am I gonna do with all these? I have like 30 now. But for the bad kids, it was a problem. Cause they were lucky if they can get their hands on one or two. So what did the bad kids do so they can go on a roller skating field trip? counterfeits. Green bucks were made of paper. Duh. So once kids had one green book, they were able to make photocopies and cut out more of them. However, there was a huge problem. Because real green bucks were printed on colored paper. And these guys, they would make photocopies on white paper. So you can immediately tell which ones are real and fake. And during lunch, I would sit at a table where kids can sign up for the roller skating field trip. They would give me the $15 and their green bucks. Thank you for your business. And this one time, a kid who I knew was a troublemaker came up to my table to sign up for the roller skating trip and he handed me 10 white green bucks they were the fake ones and i didn't know what to do because the kid was really big and you don't want to mess with him i look at the green bucks and i look at the kid so what's your name sir kevin sounds good thank you for your business i don't know how to say no so i just took the white green bucks i'm so sorry now let's fast forward to the day of the trip again the bus that i was on was loud and once we got to the roller skating rink Everybody was excited because they also handed us roller skates to borrow for that day And we had this trip every year in middle school, but for this video I'm gonna talk about the sixth grade trip So let me know if you want to hear the seventh and eighth grade stories in another video So in sixth grade, I never roller skated before in my life. Oh, but I didn't care I was so excited I put on my roller skates and the minute I stand up with my skates on whoop, I trip and fall right on my behind. And I get to the rink and I was slowly getting the hang of it that day. It was really hard at first because all of my friends would struggle too. Come on, Juan. Dude, I can't go forward. And again, I would also try so hard to go forward too. But I did get the hang of it. I would just have to hold on to the rail. One of my crushes though, she would zoom by. She looked like an all-star athlete pro. And I couldn't look like a wuss in front of her holding on to the rail. So you know what? It was my shot to impress her. I let go of the rail and pushed myself to the middle of the rink. And what did I do to try and grab her attention? I attempt to jump in my skates. Let me emphasize attempt. Because I get off the ground, but the minute I land, I immediately fall really hard. Everybody saw and was laughing, including the girl. <laughs> yeah, we should have gone bowling instead. Yes, sir. Subscribe to the Clips channel, follow the Twitch, follow the Instagram. All links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching.